you get them. Meanwhile, the governor of Missouri has admitted that he cheated on his wife, but he's denying that he tried to blackmail his mistress. Republican Eric Greitens says that the affair happened before his election. But the woman's ex-husband tells our St. Louis affiliate KMOV that the governor threatened to reveal her identity. Greitens' lawyer says that claim is false. Jerika Duncan has more. Our affiliate KMOV says the unnamed woman involved in the affair was the governor's hairdresser and that her now ex-husband was the one who exposed the sexual encounter and alleged blackmail, which included nude photographs. Eric Greitens. Hours after his State of the State address Wednesday night, Missouri first-term Republican governor and former Navy SEAL Eric Greitens admitted he was unfaithful to his wife. Recordings obtained by our St. Louis affiliate KMOV, which CBS News has not independently verified, appear to show the unnamed woman detailing her consensual sexual encounter with the governor to her then-husband only days after it happened. He said, I'll make you feel better. I'll make you feel good. Come downstairs. I want to show you how to do a proper pull-up. And I knew that he was being sexual, and I still let him. I mean, some sort of tape, I don't know what it was, and taped my hands to these rings and then put a blindfold on me. And he stepped back and I saw a flash through the blindfold and he said, you're never going to mention my name, otherwise this picture will be everywhere. I am a very proud husband and father. The governor's affair was exposed by the now ex-husband of the woman involved. KMOV chose to protect his identity. I think it's as bad as it gets when somebody takes advantage of somebody. Our first lady and my wife, Sheena Greitens. Shortly after the report aired, Governor Greitens and his wife, Sheena, released a joint statement saying, before Eric was elected governor, there was a time when he was unfaithful in our marriage. Eric took responsibility. But despite the governor's admission, his attorney says the blackmail accusation is a lie saying the outrageous claims of improper conduct regarding these almost three-year-ago events are false. Governor Greitens says his wife has forgiven him and they've emerged stronger. Meanwhile, at least one member of the Missouri State Senate is already calling for Greitens' resignation. Anne Marie and Vlad? Jerika Duncan, thank you. Investigative journalist Lauren Traeger helped break this story, and she joins us now from our St. Louis, Missouri affiliate, KMOV. Uh, Lauren, great reporting. You've been following this story for months. Why do you think the governor decided to make this admission now? I think it was becoming pretty clear that this story was going to be coming out. I know that we had been working on it for some time. There was certainly a lot of discussion from what I was hearing uh, amongst political circles about this. Uh, certainly the ex-husband who's featured in that story there mentioned that he felt that the story was going to come out pretty imminently and that's why he decided he wanted to get in front of it. He wanted to protect his family and he wanted to sort of uh, tell his, his aspects of this and get the story out in front of it because he felt that it was coming. So the timing of it certainly was just something that we felt was ramping up and getting closer. And um, we reached out to the governor. And late last night, we did get that confirmation of that extramarital affair from the governor. What about reaction from the governor's constituents, the people of the state of Missouri? How is there any fallout at all? Uh, certainly the reaction to this story has been huge. On social media, we've heard from so many of our viewers in the St. Louis area, a lot of people from across the state of Missouri and frankly around the country as well. A lot of people expressing some shock um, about these allegations, a lot of interest about this. In terms of any fallout, I think that's still going to remain to be seen at this time. I know that the um, Senate Republicans, uh, the majority leaders in the Senate for Missouri, did just put out a statement saying that they found that these allegations were shocking and concerning, and they're hoping for some uh, truth from the governor as this continues to move forward. Of course, a lot could continue to break on this. We are still reaching out to many of the parties here to see what the next steps might be um, and see what, if any, fallout will come from this. So do you expect at all, Lauren, uh, that the governor will come before you or anybody to talk about this, to do an interview, or to even make a public statement uh, in front of cameras? 
You know, we've certainly asked about that. At this time, there's no immediate plans that I'm aware of for that. Um, the, the legislature is in session right now, but we are expecting some uh, bad weather here in the state of Missouri. So it seems like they're going to maybe be uh, adjourning early for that. So in terms of getting him on camera, that's certainly something we'll continue to work towards. I think we'd like to see if he has more to say about this. Again, he is denying those allegations of potential blackmail, if someone wants to call it that, but about these compromising pictures. He's denying that aspect of it. It, um, but we certainly would like to hear more about it. And we felt um, once the extramarital affair was confirmed by him that the public had a right to know about these additional allegations as well. Indeed they do. Uh, Lauren Traeger with some incredible reporting. Thank you so much for joining us.